In this video, we're going to do an integration by parts question involving natural logarithms. So the question says, find the exact value of the integral between 2 and 1 of x, natural log of x, dx. Now, in this particular question, integration by parts is a safe choice because we've got the product of two functions. It's not a hard and fast rule that if you've got the product of two functions that you have to integrate by parts, but it's a safe guess. Once you've done enough questions, you'll get a feel for when to use integration by parts and when not to. But for now, let's work under the assumption that if it's a product, we at least try integration by parts first. So find the exact value of that. Well, the integration by parts formula, which you're given in your formula booklet, is the integral of u dv by dx with respect to x is the same as uv take the integral of v du by dx dx. So this tells us that the first thing in the product is u and the second thing in the product is log x. So let's write that down. So u equals x which means that the differential du by dx is equal to 1. That also tells us that dv by dx, not v, but dv by dx, is natural log of x, which means that v equals, and here's where we're running into problems, because we don't know the integral of log x. So, common error in these questions is what's just happened there. Now, the first thing in the product here needn't be the u, and the second thing needn't be the dv by dx. We can swap the order. So actually, that says we've got the order wrong. We should really have let u equal log x, and we can differentiate that. That means that du by dx is x to the power of minus 1, and dv by dx, we're going to let that equal x, which means that v equals x squared over 2. So now substituting those in the formula, we get i for integral equals uv, so x squared over 2 ln x u times v, minus the integral of v times du by dx with respect to x, which is equal to x squared over 2 log x, take, and before we can integrate this, we need to simplify it, so x squared times x to the minus 1 is just x over 2 dx, must simplify everything before we integrate, which is equal to x squared over 2 log x, take, and the integral of x over 2 is x squared over 4, and here's where we sub in the limits, we want it between 2 and 1, and strictly speaking, we should have had between 2 and 1 on all lines. Like that. Okay, so subbing in the limits now. And this is the best way to do these integration questions. Two big empty brackets. Because if we sub the limits in at this point, there's still a mark we can get. Even if our answer's wrong, there's a mark for subbing in the limits correctly. Which we're about to demonstrate we can do now. So 2 squared over 2 log 2. Take 2 squared over 4, take 1 squared over 2, log of 1, take 1 squared over 4. And that line there is worth a mark in the event of a wrong answer. Equals, okay, 2 squared over 2, 4 over 2 is just 2, log 2, take 1, take, and log of 1, you should recognise that that's just 0. Type in the calculator, press equals, or alternatively think, what power do I have to give e to get 1? We give the power 0, so that just disappears. So, take minus a quarter, which means that the integral is 2 log 2. The integral is equal to 2 log 2. Then minus 1, double minus a quarter, is minus 3 quarters. For more tutorials like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.